Hello wonderful viewers. Welcome back to Facts Intrigue. We hope you've been staying safe, alert, and informed with our series on life-saving facts. After the overwhelmingly positive response to our previous video, we're thrilled to bring you another round of crucial information with 25 more facts that could save your life. In today's video, we'll delve deeper, uncovering more essential tips, techniques, and knowledge nuggets designed to empower you in various emergency situations. From the realms of medical emergencies to survival strategies in the great outdoors, we are covering a myriad of scenarios that could occur in everyday life. These facts are more than just intriguing pieces of information, they are practical insights that have the potential to be the difference between peril and safety. We aim to help you develop a comprehensive understanding of these facts, enabling you to react promptly, efficiently, and effectively when every second counts. So, without further ado, let's dive right into these life-saving facts, and remember, awareness and preparation are your greatest allies in any emergency. Fact 1. The Importance of Learning CPR This is a crucial skill that has the potential to save lives, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or more commonly known as CPR. CPR is a life-saving technique used in emergencies when someone's breathing or heartbeat has stopped, such as during a cardiac arrest. By performing CPR, you are essentially stepping in to keep the person's blood flowing and oxygen reaching their brain until professional medical help can arrive. This can be the decisive factor between life and death. So, how do you perform CPR? Firstly, you want to check the surroundings to ensure it's safe to approach, then check the person for responsiveness and breathing. If the person is unresponsive and not breathing or not breathing normally, call for emergency help immediately or ask someone else to do so. While waiting for help to arrive, you'll want to start CPR. Place your hands, one on top of the other, in the center of the chest. Use your body weight to administer compressions that are at least 2 inches deep and delivered at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute. If trained, you can also give rescue breaths. Tilt the person's head back slightly to open the airway, pinch the nose shut, and breathe into the mouth until the chest rises, making a seal around their mouth with yours. Administer two breaths after every 30 chest compressions. While professional training is invaluable, everyone can step in to perform hands-only CPR in an emergency. The two steps to remember are, call 911 and push hard and fast in the center of the chest until professional help arrives. Knowing CPR is an essential skill that can make you a crucial link in the chain of survival for someone experiencing a life-threatening emergency like a cardiac arrest. There are numerous resources online and possibly local CPR training courses available in your community, so I encourage everyone to take the time to learn this life-saving skill. It's a small investment that could have a monumental impact. Remember, your actions can indeed save a life. Fact 2. Alright, let's delve into our next life-saving fact, keeping essential medications. Now, we all know that life can be unpredictable, and unforeseen situations or natural disasters can arise without warning. In such times, having a supply of your essential medications can be a real lifesaver, literally. For those who rely on prescribed medications to manage health conditions, running out of them or not having access to them can quickly escalate into a health crisis. It's crucial, therefore, to ensure that you always have an adequate supply on hand. So, how do we go about this? Stay informed, keep yourself knowledgeable about your medications, knowing their names, dosages, and how they affect your body. This information can be crucial in emergency medical situations. Keep stock, regularly check your medication levels and ensure you have a sufficient supply. This is especially vital for those living in areas prone to natural disasters where access to pharmacies may be cut off suddenly. Ask your doctor to prescribe a 90-day supply of your medications. Many doctors will store properly, ensure your medications are stored correctly, respecting temperature requirements, and keeping them in a safe, accessible location. Portable medical kit. Consider having a small, portable medical kit with essential medications and first aid supplies, especially when you are traveling or going outdoors. There are companies now that offer a medical kit with many essential medications including antibiotics that may be needed in an emergency situation where you may not have access to obtain medications. We will try to put a link in the video description on a company that offers these emergency kits. 
we also recommend discussing your needs with your healthcare provider. If acquiring a 90-day supply of your medications is proving difficult, it's crucial to openly communicate your concerns and the reasons you believe having an additional supply is necessary for your well-being, especially in emergency situations. Sometimes, clearly articulating your needs and concerns can prompt a reconsideration, leading to the approval of a larger supply of necessary medications. Additionally, it's wise to verify with your insurance company whether the additional supply is covered under your plan. It's important to be informed about your coverage to avoid unexpected costs. If your insurance doesn't cover the additional supply and if it's financially feasible, consider paying out of pocket to ensure you have the necessary medications on hand in case of emergencies. Remember, open communication with both your healthcare provider and your insurance company is key in managing your medications effectively and ensuring you're prepared for any unforeseen circumstances. Also remember, that preparation is key, and a little forethought and planning can make all the difference in maintaining health and managing medical conditions effectively in crisis situations. So, stay prepared, stay informed, and ensure your well-being and that of your loved ones by keeping essential medications on hand. Fact 3 keeping and memorizing important emergency numbers. Having immediate access to local emergency contact numbers can be the difference between a swift resolution and a prolonged crisis. While many of us rely heavily on our digital devices to store important information, it's invaluable to have a physical list of these crucial contacts as well. This list should include local emergency services, medical centers, and any other contacts you may need in a hurry. But just having one list isn't enough. Imagine if a fire were to break out in your home, the last thing you need is to lose access to all your important information. So, our advice is to make more than one copy of these essential numbers. Store them in various locations, ensuring that you will always have access to one, regardless of the situation. Consider leaving a backup copy with a trusted relative or a close friend. This ensures that, even if your primary list is lost or inaccessible, you can still swiftly get the help you need. It's all about minimizing risks and ensuring quick access to help when you need it the most. Remember, being prepared is about foreseeing and mitigating possible problems. Having multiple copies of emergency numbers stored in secure, accessible locations is a simple step that could have a profound impact on your safety and well-being in times of crisis. Now we're on to fact number four. Avoid mixing cleaning agents. This is an incredibly crucial fact that can prevent unnecessary accidents in the household. When cleaning, we might be tempted to mix different agents, thinking it will make the cleaning process more efficient. However, this can be extremely dangerous. For instance, combining bleach with ammonia or vinegar can produce toxic gases, leading to serious respiratory issues or even death. Let's delve a bit deeper. When bleach and ammonia are mixed, they create chloramine vapors, which can cause respiratory problems and organ damage. When bleach and vinegar are combined, it produces chlorine gas, which can cause breathing difficulties, and at high levels, it can be fatal. Another hazardous combination is mixing different drain cleaners. These products often have powerful and reactive chemicals that can cause dangerous reactions when mixed. Here's a quick guide. Never ever mix bleach with ammonia, vinegar, or any acid. Avoid combining different drain cleaners. The creators of this channel almost lost a loved one who mixed different cleaning products to clean her shower. She thought the combination would clean better. Doing so created an invisible toxic gas that almost took her life. She was rushed to the hospital where her surviving was questionable during her recovery. Although she lived, her lungs never fully recovered. So, the only thing certain about mixing some combinations of cleaning chemicals together is that it could be fatal. Be sure to always read labels on cleaning products, and if they say do not mix with other chemicals, adhere strictly to that warning. There is a reason that warning is on the label. To stay safe, always use cleaning agents as directed and in well-ventilated areas. If you're unsure about the chemical reactions of different cleaning agents, it's better to err on the side of caution and use them separately. Remember, safety first. Keep these tips in mind while cleaning and ensure a safer environment for yourself and your loved ones. Stay tuned for more life-saving facts. Alright, moving on to fact number 5. Use a safety ladder in fire. Now, if you're living in a multi-story building or home, having an escape ladder can be an absolute lifesaver in the event of a fire. 
fires can spread rapidly, leaving little time to escape, especially if you're on an upper floor and the usual exit routes are blocked. So, having an escape ladder handy can provide an alternative route to safety. These ladders are designed to be easy to deploy, sturdy, and able to support the weight of multiple individuals descending simultaneously. They can be attached quickly to most windows, providing a secure route to the ground. And remember, it's not just about having a ladder, it's about knowing how to use it. Make sure everyone in your household knows where the ladder is stored, how to attach it securely, and how to descend safely. Conduct regular drills to ensure everyone is familiar with the process, reducing panic and confusion in a real emergency. Also, don't forget to have a clear plan in place on where to meet once outside and a list of emergency contact numbers readily available. A well-thought-out plan and preparation can significantly increase the chances of a safe escape in the event of a fire. Stay safe, stay prepared, and join us as we continue to explore more facts that could be pivotal in saving your life. Moving forward to fact number 6. Learning to signal for help. It's vital to understand universal distress signals as they can be crucial in getting assistance during emergencies. One universally recognized distress signal is SOS in Morse code, which is three short signals, three long signals, and three short signals. In a situation where you are stranded or in danger, signaling for help can be done in various ways, depending on the resources available. For instance, if you have a whistle, three blasts is a standard call for help. If you are in an open area, creating large symbols or letters on the ground can also attract attention from rescuers or aircraft. Remember, the goal is to make your distress signal as visible and audible as possible. Using flashlights or other light sources, loud noises, or large, conspicuous markers can make the difference between being found quickly or not being found at all. It's not just about knowing these signals, it's also about teaching them to your family, especially children, and practicing them. This knowledge could prove invaluable in a dire situation where conventional communication methods are unavailable. So, stay informed, practice these signals, and ensure your loved ones do the same. And keep tuning in as we unravel more vital facts that could one day save your life. Let's dive into fact number 7. Tornado safety knowledge. Tornadoes are powerful, rapidly rotating columns of air in contact with both the surface of the earth and the cumulonimbus cloud. They are a force of nature. Their force can be devastating, but knowing what to do when one is imminent can greatly increase your chances of safety. The first and foremost rule during a tornado? Stay away from windows and do not attempt to venture outside to get a better look. If you have a basement, head there immediately and stay under something sturdy, like a heavy table, to protect yourself from potential falling debris. If you don't have a basement, don't fret. Go to an interior room on the lowest floor of your home, like a bathroom or a closet, ideally one without windows. The goal here is to put as many walls between you and the tornado as possible. For those living in mobile homes or temporary structures, it's essential to have a designated safe spot nearby as these structures might not withstand a tornado's force. Remember to always have a prepared emergency kit in your safe area, including a battery-operated weather radio to stay updated on the storm's progress. Also, if you're caught outside and cannot find shelter, lie flat in a ditch or depression and cover your head with your hands. It's not ideal, but it's better than being caught in the open or under a bridge. Preparation and knowledge are your best allies during severe weather events. Equip yourself with the right information, make a safety plan with your family, and always be aware of the weather conditions in your area. Moving on to fact number 8. Identifying Tsunami Warning Signs Tsunamis are series of enormous waves caused by underwater disturbances, typically earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or underwater landslides. Recognizing the early signs of a tsunami can make the difference between life and death, giving you crucial minutes to seek safety. One of the most telling natural warning signs of a tsunami is the sudden and unexpected receding of the sea, exposing the ocean floor. If you observe this phenomenon, don't stand around in awe, it's a clear signal that you need to move to higher ground immediately. Tsunamis move incredibly fast, and the first wave is not always the strongest, subsequent waves may be even more powerful and dangerous. So, if you're in a coastal area and experience an earthquake or see the sea receding suddenly, don't wait for an official warning. Evacuate to higher ground or inland immediately and stay there until officials declare it safe to return. 
Also, be aware of official tsunami warnings, typically issued by local meteorological agencies. These warnings can be relayed through sirens, text alerts, or broadcasts, and they indicate that a tsunami is imminent or already occurring. Remember, every second counts when a tsunami is approaching. Quick and immediate action, coupled with an understanding of the warning signs, can significantly increase your chances of staying safe during such a catastrophic event. Stay with us as we explore move on to the next life-saving fact that can empower you in times of crisis and keep you well prepared for various emergency situations. Let's talk about fact number 9. Avoiding overloading electrical outlets. It might seem convenient to plug in multiple appliances into one outlet, especially high-wattage ones, but this poses a severe risk of electrical fires. Overloading can cause the wiring to overheat, creating a potential fire hazard. Here's a rule of thumb, plug only one high-wattage appliance into each outlet. High-wattage appliances include items like microwaves, heaters, irons, and hair dryers. If you need to plug in multiple devices, consider using a surge protector, which can help prevent electrical overloads and protect your appliances from voltage spikes. Regularly check your cords, plugs, outlets, and power strips for any signs of damage, wear, or overheating. And remember, never daisy chain power strips or extension cords as this can also lead to overloading and consequently, fires. By being mindful of how you're using your electrical outlets and avoiding overloading them, you can significantly reduce the risk of electrical fires in your home, safeguarding your loved ones and your property. Moving on to fact number 10, the importance of remembering sunscreen. The sun is a vital source of vitamin D, but prolonged exposure can lead to severe sunburn, premature aging, and an increased risk of skin cancer. It's essential to use sunscreen regularly. Applying a broad-spectrum sunscreen with an SPF of at least 30 can shield your skin from harmful UVA and UVB rays, preventing damage. Remember to reapply every two hours and more often if you are swimming or sweating. And it's not just for sunny days, sunscreen is crucial even on cloudy days as up to 80% of UV rays can penetrate through clouds. For those who prefer natural alternatives, ingredients like coconut oil, shea butter, and zinc oxide can offer some level of protection. However, it's important to note that these natural options may not provide as much protection as a broad-spectrum sunscreen, so use them cautiously, especially during peak sun hours. Taking preventative measures like wearing protective clothing, sunglasses, and seeking shade can also help in reducing sun exposure. It's all about balancing the benefits of sun exposure with the risks, ensuring you enjoy the sunshine safely. Stay tuned as we continue to explore more life-saving facts that can help you make informed and prudent decisions in various situations. Fact number 11 is a crucial one, especially in areas prone to natural disasters, always have a disaster kit ready. When calamities strike, having a disaster kit can make the difference between life and death. It is crucial to prepare a kit with essential supplies that can sustain you and your family for at least 72 hours. Your kit should include Water, 1 gallon per person per day for at least 3 days, for drinking and sanitation. Non-perishable food, items like canned goods, granola bars, and dried fruits. Medications, a supply of your essential prescriptions and some basic over-the-counter medications like pain relievers and antacids. Flashlight and extra batteries for illumination during power outages. First aid kit, equipped with bandages, antiseptic wipes, scissors, and any other basic supplies. Gloves and masks. Multi-tool or Swiss Army knife. These can be handy for a variety of reasons in emergency situations. Important documents, copies of your ID, passport, insurance policies, and medical records stored in a waterproof container. Cash, access to ATMs might be limited. Hygiene items, such as hand sanitizer, moist towelettes, and feminine hygiene products. First aid manual, in paperback form, a basic survival book and how to identify wild edibles. Don't forget to carry something for self-defense. Make sure you are trained in how to safely use your method of defense. Another good thing to carry is a large can of bear spray. It is great to use not only on bears, but on animals of all kinds and humans, plus generally no special permit is required to carry it. In a real pinch, a can of wasp spray can be used if you find you're in a situation where you need to defend yourself. Remember, each family's needs are different, 
so tailor your disaster kit to meet the specific needs of your household, considering the needs of children, seniors, and pets. Keep your kit in an accessible location and periodically check and update its contents to ensure everything is in order and within expiry dates. Remember, preparedness is key, and having a well-thought-out disaster kit ready can offer peace of mind and significantly increase your chances of survival during a catastrophe. Moving on to fact number 12. When caught in a lightning storm, it's safest to stay inside your car. Many might think that being in an open field or under a tree is the safe way to avoid getting struck by lightning, but it's not. The safest place is inside a car, thanks to the metal frame of the vehicle. When lightning strikes a car, it goes around the outside of the car, and the energy is then carried to the ground, keeping the occupants inside safe. Do not touch any conductive parts inside the car, such as the steering wheel, ignition, gear shifter, or radio, and keep your hands in your lap to avoid any possible injury. It's crucial to remain inside the vehicle until the storm has completely passed and it's safe to exit. This method of protection is known as the Faraday cage effect and is a life-saving measure during sudden and severe lightning storms. Being informed about such safety measures can help in avoiding panic and making rational decisions, even in unforeseen and dangerous situations. Stay safe, stay informed, and always respect the formidable power of nature. Moving on to fact 13, a crucial one for safeguarding your home and electronic devices during thunderstorms. In thunderstorms, there's always the risk of lightning causing power surges that can damage electronics and even lead to fires. So, what's the safety tip here? It's simple yet vital, turn off electronics in thunderstorms. Unplugging electronics is a straightforward preventive measure. A power surge because of a lightning strike can instantly ruin your valuable devices and appliances, turning them into expensive paperweights. Even more importantly, it can pose a fire hazard, potentially putting lives at risk. So, during a thunderstorm, make it a habit to turn off and unplug electronic devices, such as your computer, TV, and appliances. Using surge protectors can also offer an additional layer of protection for your electronics. Stay safe and protect your home by practicing this simple precaution whenever thunderstorms roll through your area. And now, we come to fact 14, a crucial one that involves our health, knowing your allergies. Being aware of what substances, foods, or environments you are allergic to is pivotal for maintaining good health and avoiding severe allergic reactions. A severe allergic reaction, or anaphylaxis, can be life-threatening and requires immediate medical attention. Knowing your allergies means being informed about the potential allergens in foods, environments, or medications. Always read labels carefully, ask about food ingredients when eating out, and communicate your allergies to healthcare providers when being prescribed medication. In addition to avoidance, having access to an epinephrine auto-injector, if prescribed, can be a lifesaver in the event of accidental exposure to a severe allergen. What is an epinephrine auto-injector? An epinephrine auto-injector is a medical device used to deliver a measured dose of epinephrine, also known as adrenaline, to treat severe allergic reactions, also known as anaphylaxis. When someone experiences a severe allergic reaction, their body releases chemicals that can cause their blood pressure to drop, airways to narrow, and can lead to other serious medical problems. Epinephrine works by reversing these symptoms. It narrows blood vessels and opens airways in the lungs, helping to restore blood pressure and improve breathing. The auto-injector is designed to be user-friendly and can be administered by the individual experiencing the allergic reaction or by someone else. It typically involves removing a safety cap and then pressing the device against the thigh, even through clothing, allowing the needle to inject the epinephrine into the muscle. After using the epinephrine auto-injector, it is crucial to seek immediate medical attention as further treatment may be necessary. By being knowledgeable and vigilant about your allergies, you can prevent potentially severe and dangerous allergic reactions, ensuring a healthier and safer life. Fact 15. Boil contaminated water. Ensuring you have access to clean water is essential, and one sure way to purify contaminated water is by boiling it. Boiling is an effective method to eliminate harmful bacteria and parasites, making water safe to drink. It's recommended to let the water boil for at least 1 minute, or 3 minutes if you're at an elevation higher than 2,000 meters. However, in situations where boiling isn't an option, using a reliable water filtration system like the Berkey water filter can be invaluable. The creators of this channel, 
personally use the Berkey water filter, and it's a product they trust implicitly. It's known for its ability to remove bacteria, parasites, chemicals, and other contaminants, providing you with clean and safe drinking water. Berkey Water Filters is not a sponsor of this channel currently. But because they work so well, we needed to pass on this information to our viewers who we want to always stay safe and healthy. Remember, having access to clean water is paramount in emergency situations, and being prepared with knowledge and reliable products can make all the difference. Fact 16. Install Smoke Detectors. Smoke detectors are indispensable devices in every home, acting as early warning systems in the event of fire, potentially saving countless lives. It's crucial to regularly check and maintain these devices to ensure they are always operational when you need them the most. Now, for those looking to enhance their home safety, there are smoke detectors available that also function as carbon monoxide detectors, giving you dual protection. It's like getting the best of both worlds, safeguarding your household from the silent, odorless killer that is carbon monoxide, and from the obvious danger of fire. If you have difficulties installing or maintaining your smoke detectors due to physical limitations, reach out to your local fire department. Many fire departments offer assistance with installation and battery replacement to those in need. Moreover, some even provide free smoke detectors, so it's worthwhile to inquire about such programs in your area. Remember, the safety of your home is paramount, and having a functional smoke detector is a simple step with immense benefits. Fact 17. Stay informed during emergencies. In times of emergencies, staying informed can make the difference between staying safe or facing peril. Having a multi-powered radio is a fundamental way to maintain access to vital information when the power is out. Look for radios that not only run on batteries but also have solar capabilities and a hand crank option. This versatility ensures you stay connected, regardless of the circumstances. These radios often come equipped with built-in lights and pre-programmed access to the National Weather Service, keeping you updated on the latest weather developments and emergency announcements. Now, imagine facing a power outage during a severe storm. With one of these radios, you not only have access to critical updates but also a source of light to navigate through the dark. It consolidates essential features into one device, making it a worthwhile addition to any emergency preparedness kit. Remember, preparedness is key, and a multi-powered radio is a small investment that can prove invaluable when disaster strikes. Fact 18. Avoid floodwaters. In the face of flooding, the importance of staying out of floodwaters cannot be overstated. Floodwaters are not just pools of rainwater, they are often contaminated, carrying waterborne diseases, debris, and chemicals. A seemingly calm surface can mask fast-moving currents capable of sweeping away even the strongest swimmers, leading to tragic consequences. Additionally, submerged power lines can electrify the water, making it a hotspot for potential electrocution. Remember, even shallow waters hold unseen hazards. It's vital to prioritize safety and avoid driving or walking through flooded areas. Seeking higher ground and waiting for waters to recede can protect you from the myriad of risks associated with flooding, ensuring you stay safe and healthy during such disasters. The best course of action is to stay informed about the weather conditions, be prepared to evacuate if advised, and always choose routes that are clear of water. Fact 19. Recognize Symptoms of Heat Stroke Heat stroke is a severe heat-related illness that occurs when the body overheats and is unable to cool down. It's essential to recognize its symptoms as it is a medical emergency that requires immediate attention. Some of the symptoms include having a rapid, strong pulse, reddened skin, and experiencing confusion. Heat stroke can rapidly progress to life-threatening conditions, so act swiftly. Move the person to a cooler place, help lower the person's temperature with cool cloths or a cool bath. Do not give the person anything to drink and call 911 or your local emergency number immediately. Prevention is key, so during extreme heat, stay hydrated, avoid strenuous activities, wear lightweight clothing, and never leave anyone in a parked car. By staying informed and acting promptly, you can prevent heat-related illnesses and ensure the well-being of yourself and others around you. Fact 20. Bear Safety Encountering a bear in the wild can be a frightening experience, but knowing how to react can make all the difference. 
If you find yourself face to face with a bear, it's important to speak in a calm and firm voice. Avoid making direct eye contact, which bears can perceive as a threat, and back away slowly, giving the bear space and an escape route. Now, you may recall our mention of bear spray earlier in this video. This is precisely the situation it's intended for. Bear spray can be an effective deterrent and can help you avoid a potentially dangerous confrontation with a bear. But bear spray isn't limited to just bears, it can also serve as a self-defense tool against other threats, helping to ensure your safety in various situations. Remember, the goal is to avoid conflict and allow both you and the bear to leave the encounter unharmed. Fact 21. Always check blind spots. One fundamental rule of safe driving is constantly checking your blind spots. Your blind spots are those areas around your vehicle that aren't visible in your rear view or side mirrors. Failing to check these can lead to accidents, sometimes involving other vehicles, and sometimes involving vulnerable road users like cyclists or pedestrians. By making it a habit to check your blind spots every time you change lanes, merge, or make a turn, you reduce the risk of unforeseen and potentially harmful encounters on the road. It's a simple action, but it's vital for maintaining road safety and preventing avoidable accidents, ensuring a safer driving experience for everyone on the road. Fact 22. Avoid touching wild animals. When venturing into nature, it might be tempting to interact with wildlife, but it's crucial to resist this urge. Wild animals can be carriers of various diseases, and contact with them can lead to bites and disease transmission. One such disease is rabies, a viral infection that is almost universally fatal once symptoms appear. It can be transmitted through the bite of an infected animal, affecting the nervous system and eventually leading to death. Rabies can affect all mammals, not just humans, making it a substantial risk in areas populated by wildlife. Remember, observing wild animals from a safe distance allows you to appreciate their beauty and uniqueness without risking your health. In case of an animal bite, seek immediate medical attention, especially if there is a risk of rabies transmission. The best way to enjoy wildlife is to observe without interacting, ensuring safety for both humans and animals. Fact 23. Dress appropriately for the weather. It is crucial to dress appropriately according to the weather to maintain your well-being and avoid weather-related illnesses such as hypothermia or heat strokes. This means wearing layers, insulated and waterproof clothing in cold climates to prevent hypothermia and light-colored, loose, and lightweight clothing in hot climates to avoid heat-related illnesses. To enhance your comfort and safety in cold environments, you might consider utilizing products like pocket and feet warmers. These products can provide an additional source of warmth, making them especially useful for prolonged exposure to cold temperatures. Additionally, advancements in technology have introduced rechargeable heated jackets, adding an extra layer of warmth and comfort. These innovations are not just about convenience, they can be critical in maintaining body temperature in extreme conditions, potentially preventing severe health implications. So remember, investing in suitable, high-quality clothing and innovative products can be a small price to pay for ensuring your safety and comfort in varying weather conditions. Fact 24. Don't ignore persistent symptoms. It's vital to pay close attention to your body and not ignore persistent symptoms. Any continuous discomfort, pain, or unexplained symptoms should be a signal to seek medical advice immediately. By doing so, you enhance the possibility of an early diagnosis, which can be crucial in addressing potentially serious health conditions effectively. Early intervention can significantly impact the prognosis and management of many illnesses, allowing for a wider range of treatment options and, in some cases, preventing the progression of a condition. Ignoring symptoms can lead to delayed diagnosis, reducing the effectiveness of treatment and potentially allowing the condition to become more severe or even life-threatening. The importance of being proactive about your health cannot be overstated. Regular checkups, awareness of your body, and timely consultations with healthcare providers can be the difference between catching a condition in its early stages and dealing with severe, possibly irreversible, consequences. Remember, prioritizing your health and acting promptly can save your life. Listen to your body, and don't delay in seeking professional advice for persistent symptoms. Fact 25. Create a firebreak when lost. When you find yourself lost in the wilderness, signaling for help might become essential, and fire is one of the most effective ways to do so. However, it's crucial to manage this fire wisely to avoid causing a wildfire. 
this is where creating a fire break comes into play. A fire break is an area around the fire where all flammable materials, like dry leaves and grass, have been cleared away to prevent the fire from spreading unintentionally. It serves as a barrier to stop the progress of the fire into unintended areas, ensuring you don't turn a distress signal into a disastrous wildfire. To create a fire break, clear away all leaves, twigs, and other combustible materials in a wide perimeter around your fire spot. Also, make sure to have a means to extinguish the fire quickly, like water or sand, if it starts to spread unexpectedly. Remember, the key is to signal for help effectively while preserving the environment and avoiding unintended consequences. Act responsibly and make sure your call for help doesn't lead to further disaster. Alright, everyone, that wraps up our segment on 25 more facts that could save your life. We hope you found these tips valuable and that they equip you with the knowledge to stay safe in various situations. Remember, being prepared and informed is your first line of defense in any emergency.